Thank goodness I found you. Um, there's something I need your help with. Every time I do a good deed for someone, I get them to breathe into a test tube. That way, I can collect everyone's hey, breaths yo, of what joy. The fuck? Anyway, I'm still missing one final breath of joy. Oh, is that all you need help with? That's easy. Kalei, hey! Uh, oh, <laughs> hey you guys. What are the chances? You are staring into space just now. Something the matter? I was just looking at a Mondstadt children's book in the souvenir shop over there. While I was flipping through it, a piece of paper fell out. The writing on it was really mysterious. Almost like a prophecy. Okay. Hmm. That is strange. I've read that book, and it sounds like that note you found has no relation to the story at all. Um... Do you know her? Why is this humble windmill such a great view? Because it is the true great Vayu Viastra. Bruh. <sighs> Indeed. We're not here in an official capacity. Just to keep Kale company on her vacation. Keep me company? But it was you two that insisted on coming! Kale is very important to us. We felt obliged to ensure her safety on the long, treacherous journey to Mondstadt. But I've been here on my own loads of times before! Oh, Sucrose! What were you saying about you having a teacher as well? I was just going to mention that... I think we're in a somewhat similar situation. I'm an assistant to Mr. Albedo, Mondstadt's genius alchemist. Oh, please, Sucrose. Genius is an unnecessary epithet. It will serve only to leave an exaggerated impression of me in the minds of our guests. Oh, well, by the way, was there any reason in particular that you chose Mondstadt as your destination on this occasion? Kale, Lily. Huh? What? Kale's wind bloom. Maybe she should call it a Kale Lily. It sounds very Mondstadt. There's also Kale Flower, which would technically make more sense. But somehow, it doesn't sound as nice. Stupid! Also, there's the matter of a Genius Invocation TCG custom-made card back. I asked around before eventually deciding to ask the legendary Mr. Kaltz for guidance. I see. So, you came to Mondstadt in search of Kaltz. <laughs> if my writer friend were here now, I'm sure he would describe this curious coincidence as having the makings of a good story. It's always a pleasure to meet a fan. Oh, here he comes. Wait. You mean you're Mr. Calx? Having my new friends address me by my pen name feels uh, somewhat unusual. Please, just call me Albedo. Huh. So you're Calx. Sino's been talking about you non-stop recently. He's intent on getting you to design a bespoke card back for him. Uh, you didn't have to say all that. I don't usually take private commissions, but I believe that we are friends now, all of us. So, how much should I budget for the timeless masterpiece you will produce for me? Well, for starters, I'd like to hear a few more of your jokes. I can only suppose that they were Kale-ing on someone. At least uh, that's as far as I know. Oh, please, just stop, stop it you with this. You better stop, stop! Kale and I are investigating a prophecy, and we were hoping you all might be able to help. Oh? What sort of prophecy? 
The sucrose mailbox? So, I decided to place a mailbox next to the alchemy crafting table. Everyone can submit their written answers there when they're ready. Understood. Once we've had a look into it, we'll place our replies into your mailbox. Thank you all so much. Okay, let's take them off the list and carry on working our way down. Mm-hmm. Already done. It is not unheard of, for example, for people to build a family in order to pursue further studies. But the relationship between the three of us is not an academic one turned social. We've never even worked on a paper together, for starters. Think of us more as siblings. An equal and pure relationship, unaffected by academic considerations. As much as I'd prefer not to admit it, that statement is not inaccurate. I can understand that position. I have a younger sister Lisa! myself, and it's only natural for me to be protective of her. The hell! Oh, I beg you, please don't let go! <sighs> Who's that yelling? Let's hurry and take a look! Timaeus? And we also have Rosaria and Mona? What kind of mishmash ensemble is this? Hey, please don't rub salt in my wound. I really have been trying my best. Oh, you're one to talk. If this sister hadn't grabbed you in time, then you would have been seriously hurt, if not dead. Don't mention it. Just lending a hand. I, I came here because I wanted to give some Cecilius to the girl I love. They'll really suit her. She's... No, no, no. No one asked. Please, do not subject us to your gushing about your girlfriend. But wait! Wait for me! Oh, Timaeus! The fuck? What brings you here? I'm happy to announce that I think I can be the one who would never lie. Nani! Do you still remember the time I... Uh... <sighs> collaborated with a certain Miss Ying R? I feel incredibly guilty. I've been spending all of my time in my own fantasy world while everyone else has been bending over backwards to help other people. How could I ever hope to be worthy of Miss Ying R's love if I'm so selfish? Okay, Paima will do the honors. Ahem. We have with us here the flower, the guide, the legend, and Timaeus. Huh? Why did you only say Timaeus's name? You should say my name, too. This is it! We're off to find the sacred location of the Lantern of Utmost Joy! There's a strange aura to this place. It's almost as if someone has been staring at me as soon as we stepped foot in here. Wait! The lantern just lit up! Whoa! All four sides of the lantern are glowing! Ah, uh, and to think, I never expected you to actually find this place. The lantern has already been lit. Now then, please allow me to disturb your happy peace. Huh. Why did this little thing just light up? How strange. Hello? On the other side of the lantern. Can you hear me over there? Mom? Madam. I am Scarlet, the successor of Jay. Oh, <clears throat> since we've last and gathered, got to say Jay's honesty, successor has um, already become so reckless it's and It's the bold. biggest piece of dog shit that I have ever heard. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you talking just like the old hag? <sighs> old hag? Who would dare say that? Is that Mona? Oh, it's Alice. I'm here too. talk like other people? Uh, oh, so I see everyone's here. Well then, my warmest greetings, everyone. Oh, Miss Alice, would it be all right to leave the explanation of that to you? <laughs> well, you should be rewarded for making it all the way up here and activating the lantern. Now then, let me tell you a long and ancient story. It's a little embarrassing, 
The truth is, that prophecy was actually just a letter that we sent to Jay as a group the day before her wedding. <laughs> the guide who will never get lost is N, otherwise known as Nicole. You may not have encountered her yet, but she is a truly extraordinary woman who has made this world's direction and order her subject of study. Some of you may be fortunate enough to have already heard her voice. Like a prophetess, she will only speak to guide people toward the truth when a change has occurred in the world. She has a tendency to suddenly speak in someone's mind without any warning. <laughs> If one day you would be unfortunate enough to run into a truly dangerous situation, she may use her voice to guide the way forward for you. <sighs> as long as we can be with our beloved friends, our hearts will be filled with joy. To us mages, that's what being supremely blessed is all about. Anyway, I'll introduce some of the other members to you all later. No, I still no, have no, a few no, things no, to no, attend no, to, so... This will have to do for today. Bye, Mom! Todoko says bye, too! Goodbye, darling. And farewell to all of our other friends as well. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute details. Hey, you three? You may want to look over there. <laughs> Miss Ying R? I, I am so sorry, Miss Yingar, but, but how did you... Uh, I mean... <laughs> Are you so happy just to see me? <sighs> I don't know what to say. I, I'm just really happy. I almost forgot. Kali... Can you exhale once into this test tube? I will save this breath of joy and use it in my research. Oh, really? May I? Of course. Huh? What? What was that? It was like a little cloud of happiness, and now it flew away. If your friendship was forged in a test tube, does that make you test friends forever? That's it. I think you've ruined Sumeru's reputation in Mondstadt beyond all hope of repair. All that matters is that I've enjoyed Mondstadt immensely. The dragon here possesses a majestic form. Oh, that reminds me. Traveler, this card back is for you. Sayano wanted you to have one for yourself. If I had to guess, I'd say he probably wants you to use it if you challenge him to a duel. I'm a master of the game. Do you dare challenge me? Can you believe this guy? <laughs> Let's knock him off his high horse. W wait, I've got something to give you too. Huh? Kali has a gift for us? Yeah. I figured I should follow local Mondstadt customs and prepared a few small things themed after the Windbloom Festival. I made these bookmarks from Samaru Roses at the hotel. I want to give them to Amber, Master Tainari, and Sino. During Windbloom, Mondsetters offer flowers to the people most important to them. You three are family to me. But Tainari said that we're not anything like an academic family. He wouldn't write joint papers with us. Well, in this case, we can consider ourselves as regular friends. And that should be just fine. <laughs> I agree. <sighs> Sucrose, do you see that cloud over there? Huh? Doesn't it look just like your test tube? 